In this video, we're going to look at using the elimination method to solve a system of equations. For the elimination method, it's an ideal candidate when uh, the variables in the two equations are both on the same side. So like x's are both on the left and y's are both on the left, or x's are both on the left and y's are both on the right. As long as the variables in the two equations are both in the same positions, elimination method is a great method to use. Uh, for elimination method, what we want to do is, well, we want to eliminate one of the variables. And the way that we can do that is we ensure that the two variables have exact opposite coefficients. So we use the multiplication property of equality to ensure that they have exact opposite coefficients. Then we add the equations together, and when we go to add two things that have opposite coefficients, they cancel each other out. So in the elimination method, we eliminate one variable by manipulating, and really what I mean when I say manipulating is I just mean multiplying, by manipulating one or both, we might have to multiply both equations so that one variable has exact opposite coefficients, has exact opposite coefficients. Once they have the exact opposite coefficients, we will uh, then solve by adding uh, the two equations. And what that'll do, that'll eliminate one of the variables and then you'll be given the solution, or you might have to divide both sides to determine the solution. Um, that will tell you one variable, then you would have to go in back to the original and plug in to find the other variable. So let's look at our example A. Here we have 2x minus y equals negative 5, and negative 2x plus 6y equals 20. The coefficients of our x's are 2 and negative 2. The coefficients of our y's are negative 1 and 6. Because 2 and negative 2 are already opposites, we don't actually have to manipulate either equation. We can just go ahead and combine these. When we combine these, we are just adding straight down. So 2x plus negative 2x is 0. Negative y plus 6y is 5y. And negative 5 plus 20 is 15. From here, we can divide both sides by 5 to determine the value of y, which is 3. Now that we know y is 3, we go back to one of the top two equations, uh, I guess the top one looks friendlier, maybe. And we're going to substitute in 3 for y. So it would be 2x minus 3 equals negative 5. That would be 2x equals negative 2. And x equals negative 1. So the solution to this system is negative 1, 3. Because I plugged into the top one, I'm just going to verify with that second equation. Just very quickly make sure... Uh, that it ends up being a true statement. So if I plug in negative 1 and 3, I get 2 plus 18, which equals 20. So I feel pretty confident that negative 1, 3 is the solution. In our second example, the coefficients of x are 4 and 2, and the coefficients of y are 3 and negative 5. We want to get one of them to be exact opposite numbers. So if this one is 4, we want this to be negative 4. If this one is... 3, we want this to be negative 3, but we don't have to use the numbers that were given. Uh, in fact, 3 and 5, we would actually want them both to be 15. We would look for something that they both have in common. However, that one might be a little more challenging. It might be a little bit simpler to get this to be the exact opposite of 4, because I, don't, I can do that, right? I can very quickly multiply 2 by something nice to give me the opposite of 4, which is negative 4. I can multiply by negative 2. Now, I can't just multiply one single piece of an equation by negative 2. I multiply the entire equation by negative 2. So then I would have negative 4x plus 10y is equal to negative 2. And I'm going to bring down my top equation, 4x plus 3y equals 15. And then from here, we're going to add them together. Negative 4x plus 4x is 0. Uh, 10y plus 3y is 13y. And negative 2 plus 15 is 13. If I divide both sides by 13, I see that y is equal to 1. We know the y-coordinate. Now we need to determine the x-coordinate. I'm going to take 1 and plug it into one of the original equations. Let's say the top one. So that's 4x plus 3 times 1 equals 15. 
4x plus 3 equals 15. That would be 4x equals 12 and x equals 3. So the solution to this system would be 3, 1. But I want to know for sure that I have the right answer, so I'm just going to check with that second equation. Does 2 times 3 minus 5 times 1 really equal 1? That's 6 minus 5, which is equal to 1. So I feel pretty confident that 3, 1 is the correct solution. We're going to look at a few more examples of solving a system of equations using the elimination method. So with the elimination method, we eliminate one of the variables by manipulating one or both uh, equations so that one variable has exact opposite coefficients. In example C, we have 4 and 3 as our coefficients of x, and 3, negative 7 as our coefficients of y. In either case, there's nothing like super friendly. 4 and 3 aren't exactly compatible numbers, neither are 3 and 7. Um, so it doesn't matter which ones you choose. You can eliminate x or you can eliminate y. I'm going to choose to eliminate y only because one of them is positive and one of them is negative. If I chose to eliminate x, then I would need to multiply one of these by something negative, so that way the numbers you know, ended up being one positive and one negative. Uh, so I could quickly rewrite 3 and 7 to be coefficients of 21, because I can multiply 3 by 7 and I can multiply 7 by 3, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this top equation, everything, by 7. I'm going to take this second equation, I'm going to multiply everything by 3. If I multiply everything in the top equation by 7, that's going to give me 28x plus 21y is equal to 77. And in the bottom equation, if I multiply everything by 3, that would give me 9x minus 21y is equal to negative 3. From here, now that I have exact opposite numbers, I know that the y variable will cancel out, which is great. So those are going to cancel. 28 plus 9 would give me 37x. Those cancel. 77 minus 3 is 74. To get x by itself, I'll divide both sides by 37. And I get x is equal to 2. I know the x coordinate, but I still need to determine the y coordinate. To determine the y coordinate, I go back to one of the original equations. I'll use the top one, and I'm going to replace uh, 2 for x. So we're going to say 2 plus 3y is equal to 11. Now let's get y by itself. 8 plus 3y is equal to 11. I'll subtract 8 from both sides. 3y is equal to 3. Divide both sides by 3, and y is equal to 1. So the solution to this system would be 2, 1. I want to verify it just to know that I'm 100% correct. I don't like being wrong. It does happen occasionally. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. And we get, um, let's see, 6 minus 7. Does that equal negative 1? Yes, it does. So I feel pretty good that 2, 1 is the solution. Looking at our second example, we have 2x minus 10y equals 2, and 3x minus 15y is equal to 4. So I either want to get these to be exact opposite numbers or these to be exact opposite numbers. These look like they're going to be a little bit friendlier only because they're smaller numbers. Um, you know, last time I said, well, we had different signs, but here we they're both positive and here they're both negative, so we can't really play that game. So the best option here is to have one of these become 6x and the other one to be negative 6x. And it doesn't matter which one's which, just as long as one of them is negative. So I'll multiply the top one by 3 which means I have to multiply the bottom one by negative 2. If I multiply the top equation by 3, I get 6x minus 30y is equal to 6. And if I multiply the bottom equation by negative 2, I get negative 6x plus 30y is equal to uh, negative 8. When I go to combine these, so my goal was to eliminate x, which I succeeded in doing because they have opposite coefficients, but I also end up t canceling out the y's. So when I have nothing over here, we represent that with 0. We have 0 over there. And then here, when we combine these, we get negative 2. This makes a false statement. 0 does not equal negative 2. What that indicates to me is that these were actually equations of parallel lines, and there is no solution. This would be a special case. It, they're rare, but they do happen.